Hi guys, and welcome to the first review I'm going to do. This is review number one of the Enemies of the Third Doctor set. Now, it contains two figures, two accessories, and a third thing. That you can guess what this is in, in the comments, even though it doesn't really matter. Because you're probably going to skip forward in the video anyway, but I trust you guys. So we're going to start with um, the Auton figure here. It has an Auton figure and an Omega figure there. So this is the Auton figure. The one that I mainly got the set for. So I guess we'll, um, we'll start with, with the head. So the head has quite a lot of detail. Um, the eyes is very... If I could, is this gonna work? It's gonna work for this time. I don't think it is gonna work. Anyway, so the head has quite a lot of detail. It has. It looks like the autons in the episode. The eyes look like they have the mesh, which is correct. The head is quite enlarged at the back, which uh, makes it look very plasticky. Well, of course, it is made of plastic. It, this is a toy, but. Very smooth head, and then we have the the scarf, um, which is very nice. It's plain, but I th it's like beige, but I think it might have a very light grey wash over it. But you know, I can barely see it in real life, so you're not going to be able to see it on camera very much. Then we move on to the um, the body. The body has quite a lot of detail and some nice paint on it. So we have all these silver buttons on it, some nice wrinkles. The collar is very nice as well. And then also we have the belt. And then the legs are very simple, just plain blue, navy blue. I believe it's, yeah, that's navy blue. And then the boots, uh, silver on the bottom with all this. Legal rubbish. Well, I'm not going to say it's rubbish. It is annoying on toys, but I'm sure it has its uses. And when the sil silver boots. And then <clears throat> we'll do articulation. So, <clears throat> God, hard to do it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay, there. So, the head. The head. Can, I think it can turn, no, it can't turn fully, it can turn a bit, it can't turn fully because it's um, hindered by that. The arms can rotate fully and they have elbow joints and the wrist can go for, oh yeah I forgot to show you the gun. And I'll show you the gun there with the accessories. Um, the waist has <coughs> three sixties. Oh, can that arm? No, the arm can't. But yep. Yeah. And then the knees can bend, but there's no foot articulation. So, and then I'll show you the accessories. So this is uh, just his normal hand, which is the swap out for the gun hand and this this is the gun hand itself now the gun hand is has a lot of detail very nice yep and then the other accessory is the nesting control whoop, dropped it nesting control sphere which is very very light and it's a, it was a lot oh God, so small I keep dropping it Looks like chewing gum, really, but it's, it's quite cool. It's kind of transparent, but not really. It's a, it's um translucent, does it? Um. So yeah, that's that's that. So that is the autumn. Now, although I have seen um spearhead from space, I haven't seen um I haven't seen the three doctors. Uh, with Omega in it, so if I don't know anything from any of the episodes, I'm sorry about that. 
but we'll do detail. So the helmet looks very, very nice. It, it's gold with um, a black wash over it to make to like make it look kind of dirty and nice. And the head, um, it's very easily removable. And I know the one thing is that in one of the episodes, I think it's the Three Doctors. I think that might be the only episode he's in, but I don't know. But I think it's in the Three Doctors. But in one of the episodes, um, like his, he takes his helmet off and his head is like invisible. So that's obviously why that does. Now I heard that it was hard. I heard that it was hard to put on and take off, or take off and put on. But it's really easy for me. So I don't know if I've just got a good one or a bad one. But it stays on quite nice, like, sorry Omega, but, you know, in the name of Twitter reviews. But, so then, and also, for some reason, both of his, oop, oh dear, that didn't go very well. But <laughs> his, both of his gloves are removable. I don't know why that is. Because I'm pretty sure in none of the episodes his gloves were removable, but now they are. But there's there's the um, the thing that's underneath his helmet. Looks very nice. Now his um, robe or dress, I don't know, uh, has this kind of blue. It's it's navy blue with this kind of cyan sparkly think I've threaded individual through which I bet took ages to do I bet took I bet I bet it took ages to do it to do it yes that's English then his gloves uh, look like they could hold a sonic screwdriver they're very sonic screwdriver like hands well this his right his left hand is just like closed kind of but it's not really a fist but his right hand looks like it could hold a sonic screwdriver, so I don't know. But he never holds sonic screwdriver, at least I don't think he did, I don't know. But then, his legs are silver, and then his boots are gold with some more legal stuff on, the, on those. Now for articulation, he has slightly more. Now obviously, his head can come off. So I'm gonna guess that you could put it on backwards, but I probably wouldn't wouldn't suggest it because it might scratch some paint. Um, his arms could do 360, but I wouldn't recommend it because this this would it, it this would probably rip if you tried to do that. Now his arms can go out and they can twist like this, but I wouldn't re recommend twisting it and then leaving it out because. Um, it's like his arms are ball jointed, but it's really hard. Like if I I had it like this and I was like twisting it, and I twisted it, but and then I because the wrist is also twistable, uh, so I I twisted the arm, and the hand, so it looked like a straight arm, but I couldn't get it back down, and I was just fiddling it with it for ages, trying to get it to go back down, and it wasn't doing it, but I got it back down, so that's that's fine. So his arms do bend, and obviously the wrists turn. Now his legs, if I just, <clears throat> just do this. His legs can turn 360 like that, and he can, he can kick out like that. But he can't go back, but he can kick out, and he can bend like that. But, he, and his, but his legs don't rotate individually so that's the um, articulation for those two figures and then about that other thing uh, I had a few minutes ago you know you know, this thing if you had guessed what it was um, if you guessed a drashig you'd be right now similar to Omega I haven't seen Carnival of Monsters so if there's anything that these did that I didn't, that I don't mention. I'm sorry, cause um, I haven't seen it, so I won't know. But it's so big, I can barely get it. I can't even get it on the camera, camera in hall. So I'll just have to do it like this. So the eyes, the 
The eyes are very shiny and nice. Then the mouth has this some um, kind of black, blackish stuff, and it has like a white wash over it all. Or maybe that's just it being worn, wore, wore, wore off. Yeah, wore off. But I think it's paint. It looks like paint. So, yeah, it has a white wash over it. And the teeth, the teeth look very realistic. They're very glossy, but some people put gloss on their teeth. I don't know. But they look very good. The teeth look very realistic. Nom nom. The inside of his mouth, or its mouth, or her mouth, I don't know, is just a plain maroony kind of colour. It looks orange on camera, but it's more red in reality. Um, and then the bottom of it, this is also, this is slightly more orange than the mouth, and it looks even more orange on camera. Um, like, th in real life, this looks like what the mouth looked like on camera so uh, that's like that and then it has like this kind of cool like sh kind of shell of shell pattern here um and then also it's very e it's kind of stiff well i don't, don't want to say stiff because it's like all one piece but it's real it's quite this is the most i could well i'm, I'm right-handed so i'll try it with my right hand um You'll have to watch him upside down, sorry, but, like, I can't. That's the best I can do. If I hold him, I can do it a bit better, but I can't really. I can't open it very far. I think my left hand might actually be better for this. But as you can see, his mouth does open and close, and it's very, very good. It is a hand puppet, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that it was a hand puppet. I think I did. I hope I did, otherwise I'll, I'll probably sound stupid, and I don't want you guys to think I'm stupid. I may be stupid, obviously if I am stupid, then I won't know that, but, you know. So that's, that's all for this time, guys. If we enjoy, if, if we, if we enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this video, um, leave a like, and please comment, and... If you really liked it, please subscribe for more videos like this one. Goodbye. See you guys next time.